name is Crypto Dog to the rescue. Welcome to my channel. I really appreciate everybody watching, liking, subscribing. Uh, hit the bell. Uh, you know, comment below. Leave your Ethereum address or Bitcoin address. I'm still doing the 100 subscriber giveaway for a cold storage coin and $20. And at 150 subscribers, I'm going to be choosing a winner myself for a cold storage coin, whether Bitcoin or Ethereum. So again, leave your Ethereum or Bitcoin address below so you can kind of enter the um, random winner um, contest and uh, we'll go from there. So moving forward into the market, coin market cap, 247 billion. Um, not looking you know, too great, but at least we're kind of going sideways now and it ain't going down too much. Ethereum just seems to keep kind of sliding down as Bitcoin is kind of sustaining over that 6,000 line. Um, so uh, let, let's look into Bitcoin real quick. I, I was something, a couple things that piqued my interest here. Uh, I'm reading some things um, and I've noticed this name in the past couple days. And then uh, I was watching, uh, I believe, Mr. Kristoff this morning um, on uh, another YouTuber uh, that I watched because uh, he, he uh, has the PBC and some other things that uh, uh, give us a little bit of info on there. So anyways, ZB.com, as he kind of uh, touched on that as a market that was actually, you know, when Binance wasn't uh, working for the last couple of days to do an upgrade, uh, they were up here on like number one, number two stop uh, with Dash Bitcoin. And now Bitcoin USDT is kind of hit. So their volume in the past 24 hours is pretty substantial. Uh, so I, I looked into it and of course it's, uh, it's either, I think it's Japan, Japanese, um, but it's a website that does international trading. It's an international trading platform. So they do spot trading, leverage financing, um, over the counter uh, trading. So, um, you know, again, looking more into it, reading this real quick, the purpose of this website is to provide professional international level trading platforms and financial products to the global digital asset lovers and investors as far as possible, excuse me, without violating the relevant laws and regulations of the independent country of Samoa. So it is forbidden to use this website for money laundering, smuggling, and if it, it's found, they're going to freeze your account and uh, uh, report to the authorities. So according to uh, the laws and regulations, they have to back this website with Bitcoin. So that's why they have so much of as far as the Bitcoin transactions and so on. So they have the Bitcoin to actually transact with when um, they're doing leveraging asset, you know, over the counter. Over the counter really doesn't um, mess with the price of Bitcoin too much, but there's leveraging and so on and so forth. So it does. And it, that's pretty substantial when it comes to, uh, you know, number four and five on the top list of sources uh, for these Bitcoin trading. So that's, that's kind of substantial. Uh, and they're new on the market. So something to think about, something to watch. Uh, when you're looking at Bitcoin and um, why Bitcoin's kind of going up and down, maybe a little bit more in volatility lately in the past, you know, 24 hours or so. So moving forward, uh, Pornhub taps Tron Zencash for crypto payment. And um, the reason why is because, you know, you know, remember when they partnered up with Verge, nobody was really too excited about it. But we were all hoping that it was going to go up a little bit because I hold some Verge as well. And it did not really, you know, it did a little bit, but not really. Um, and uh, now uh, Pornhub is taking Zencash, you know, for privacy and Tron, uh, f you know, for privacy, basically, you know, fear of exposure, you know, and, you know, as much as everybody doesn't like, you know, the porn industry and so on, Pornhub is a huge, huge company and they make a lot of money. It's as simple as that. So it's industry money. Probably not the money we'd like to see, you know, coming right out the gate, but it is what it is. And uh, now they're tapping into Tron and Zencash. So is that good for Tron and Zencash? Well, we'll see. You know, nobody was really too excited for Verge when it first came out uh, with the partnership with Pornhub. So we shall see. But it's good for Pornhub. Uh, so moving forward, I always look into, you know, further ICOs. I look at the hot, hot list, the drop list and all these other, you know, ICO uh, websites uh, that are coming out. And Foghorn really, really uh, struck a tune with me. Uh, it's a decentralized global network of computing power that is going to be on the cloud. Foghorn's Active Ether software, which is the company behind it, um, enables hosting services that work seamlessly with Internet of Things and other data applications in real time communications. So Foghorn is a coin that I'm really, really um, interested in. And, uh, you know, again, it's to be determined the starting date and the ending date. So I'm going to be watching this. And I, I, you know, I really want to do an ICO 
um, uh, metric on this, you know, and grade this. You know, autonomy looked really, really good to me. Deep coin looks good, but it's a higher price. Uh, metronome uh, looks good, but again, it's at a higher price. Mainframe looks good, and it's, that's at a pretty good price, but I don't think I can get it in the U.S. I'll have to look in that again. Um, but I, I think it's, I, I don't even know if it's over or not. Um, I kind of passed on mainframe, but anyway, going back to Fogcoin. So Active Ether, how it works. Active Ether leverages available computing resources, enabling software services to be spun up on demand to available hosts based on their speed, availability, bandwidth, and scalability. So, I mean, they're hitting everything that a coin has problems with. Bandwidth, scalability, availability, speed. I mean, that's, you know, transactions per seconds. All this stuff is what we're having problems with. And Fogcoin is really... I mean, really hit a tune with me and as, as what they're doing. So Fogcoin, by commoditizing computing resources, we enable software services to be deployed onto available hosting resources in direct proportion to demand, incentivize users to join the network, promote competition and eliminate vendor lock-in and redistribute cloud profits. So decentralized for the most part, now clouds are. And um, you know, let's look into... Uh, my little scroller stopped scrolling on me. So let's look into at uh, a video real quick and let me show you what I'm talking about. Uh, I just really want to show you this because it's, it's a good little video. I'll skip through it. Every day we're creating an even bigger digital universe. If a single star is a bit of information, there's a galaxy of information for every person in the world. We're only just getting started with the Internet of Things. There are over one million new devices connected to the Internet every single hour. More than 27 million every single day. There will be 20 billion additional ones by 2020. That's just two years from now. Where is all that data going to get processed? Bandwidth strain is inevitable, especially if we expect to ship data from 20 billion new IoT devices to and from the same cloud infrastructures. The cloud was not designed to process the volume, variety, and velocity of data IoT is generating and will continue to generate. There's a lot of power in the cloud with a few million computers, but there are billions worldwide. Computing power is the most globally available, currently untradeable, and critical resource of our time. Fog computing is a sort of the great unifier. It brings all of your near-line on-site edge and everything in between. We're surrounded by opportunity in the form of unused computing power. Why send your data thousands of miles away to a data center to be processed when it can be done quicker and more efficiently nearby? A cloud is simply a bunch of computers that someone else owns. That could be any suburb in America. It's like any computer anywhere will make you money. Fogcoin enables anyone with a computer to act as a cloud provider and get paid for renting out their processing power. The phones, laptops, workstations, servers, and data center resources all around us are no longer merely depreciating assets. Out of all the other cryptocurrencies that are out there, why choose this one? Fogcoin is going to enable people worldwide to get paid to simply allow somebody else to make use of their computational resources. It's passive income, and it creates a more resilient computing infrastructure for the entire world. Love it. So succinct and great. <laughs> Sign us up for the Fogcoin. This will empower every industry and category, from location intelligence, streaming data analytics, cognitive business intelligence, to manufacturing, consulting, and all forms of business services. As we leave antiquated systems in the combustion age behind, we're building the architecture for a bigger, brighter tomorrow. As a member of the Open Fog Consortium, Active Ether, the company behind Fogcoin, is working with industry heavyweights like Intel, Cisco, Microsoft, Dell, and Arm to set the policy and framework for bringing fog computing to the world. It's an enormous opportunity. Active Ether with Fogcoin is the global marketplace for compute. So I thought that was kind of cool to see. Uh, I just wanted to show everybody that. Um, I hope everybody's able to hear me. 
Um, yep, you're able to hear me now. So, all right, yeah, so I just wanted to show everybody that, you know, I, if you didn't look in the video, it did say the ICO may be coming out in November. So, um, you know, still got a lot of time, you know, with that one, but I'm really going to be watching that one. I mean, they're working with some big heavyweights, Intel, Cisco. I mean, these are the ones that are going to be putting the regulations in place and so on and so forth. It's pretty good to see, uh, and I'm really going to be watching, especially in November when it could really take off. Um, in the, uh, you know, the spike that we usually have on a yearly basis. So that's Fogcoin for you. And, and I'm really excited about that one as an ICO. I, you know, lately I've been looking at a lot of ICOs and I really haven't seen many um, that really, really strike a tune with me that, you know, I can see, um, you know, mainstream indus you know, the industry money and so on and so forth really picking up um, uh, for the long term. So uh, last but not least, Crypto Fear and Greed Index. 18 yesterday was 21 last week was 37 so it really doesn't you know still doesn't look too good you know as far as on the charting so you know it is what it is uh, i'm going to do another video later on today to kind of catch up i haven't done one in a couple days but um i really just i'm looking into profit trailer and other things so i really have to get my my butt moving on that stuff so you guys have a great day my name is crypto dog to the rescue please like subscribe hit the bell comment below it all helps my channel and uh, me getting a dog rescue which i pretty kind of am already um, but i want to start dog sanctuary as well so you guys have a great day keep up the grind